Brianna Gay was a fearless child. When his parents said this, they did not mean that was not afraid, but that he was still brave enough to pursue the life wanted. He is a naturally outgoing teenager who loves attention, but lately he has been spending most of time in his bedroom making TikTok videos that sometimes lead to abusive comments. Mother said, if this sounds confusing and contradictory, then 16-year-olds are, by turns defiant and vulnerable, loud and insecure. They are half-hatched butterflies still in a complex process of development. In Brianna's case, this process involved coming out as trans. It was impossible to forget this aspect of his life during the somber trial in which two 15-year-old boys were found guilty of brutally stabbing him to death in a suburban Cheshire park. The jury was told that girl X and boy Y, who were not named because of their ages, did not need to know why she targeted Brianna to find them guilty. For many LGBT people, Brianna's violent death seemingly confirms their worst fears about a culture war fueling hostility towards trans people, those lighting candles and holding vigils embracing Brianna as the victim of transphobic hate crime. See her death as reminder that our beautiful community should never harmed or doubted, but rather protected and loved. At moment like this, it seems terribly rude for Equalities Minister Kemi Badenoch be touting push for so-called social transition in schools where teachers will encourage to turn down children's requests change pronouns. But Cheshire police insist they do not believe Brianna was killed because she was trans. Girl X had identified four potential victims against whom either she or boy Y held a grudge. None of them were trans and detectives believe that if it wasn't Brianna, it could have been one of the others. Police claim they chose the most suitable victim, motivated by a desire to kill. But the complexity of this does not make Brianna's identity unimportant. Boy Y in his messages to girls she wrote that she wanted to see whether Brianna would scream like a boy or a girl. Did her trans identity make her a more acceptable target in his eyes? Meanwhile. Girl X claimed in court that she found Brianna interesting and attractive and was not anti-trans, but mentioned in his messages that he was obsessed with Brianna for reasons couldn't explain, prompting Y to respond I don't think you're necessarily in love, but you're more curious and intriguing because of the unnatural nature of it. Disgust and admiration can be a dangerous combination. Meanwhile, Detectives said Brianna's own anxiety may have led her to rely more on Girl X's suggestions. A child who feels different and is afraid of rejection may want to make friends. Brianna's trans identity certainly feels like an inevitable part this terrible tragedy. And yet to make it whole is to miss something else about brutal of a child by children. One boy's rejected proposed date for because it was school.